Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming. My name is Donna Roberts. I'm going to present the 2024 election, Follow Your Vote. Um, there's cookies and water and brownies in the back. Please help yourself. So on our agenda, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Donna Roberts. My first election, I saw that there was a sample ballot, and I saw that there was a committee woman in my district available, and there were no nominations or petitions. So I wrote in my name, I asked my niece to write in her name, and I won my first election by two votes. So it's important your vote counts. The other election I was in was my first election to become a councilwoman. I ran with Art Rittenhouse. He was running for mayor at the time. Art won the election on election night. After the mail-in ballots were counted, he lost by three votes. So if you don't believe that your vote counts, you really have to know that most of these elections are won and lost by very, very few ballots. So yours does count, and I want you to make sure that you get yours registered. So we're going to talk a little bit about what the county clerk does because they run the elections, your several polling locations, early voting, vote by mail, some key dates to keep in mind, what a bearer of a ballot is, and how to track your mail-in ballot. And then, of course, there's election day. So the Middlesex County Clerk Election Services, I'm not going to read the whole slide, but I'm going to hit the highlights. They accept nominating petitions. They draw the ballot positions, which is who's going to get which column when they print out the ballots and do the machines. They design and prepare the election ballot. They input all the information needed for the voting machines. When the polls close, they tabulate the election. And of course, if you need more information, they have a phone number, 732-745-3471. Or what you'll see is on all of the slides that I'm presenting to you here, you'll have a QR code. Just take out your smartphone, point at the QR code, and it will bring you to the authoritative source for the information that's being presented on the screen at that time. We have early voting this year. Early voting at any registered voter that is not a mail-in or absentee voter can choose to vote early. That's to make it easier for those who have a difficult schedule on election day. Early voting starts on October 26th and runs through November 3rd. You'll see the locations. There are less, fewer locations, but Cerebral does have one at the Cerebral Senior Center, which is actually now known as the Cerebral Active Adults. Thank you. So you can go ahead and check that QR code. Did you get it? All right, and then vote by mail. Um, through vote by mail, and I'm going to read this because it's kind of important. So you registered voters can choose to receive official mail-in ballots for the primary, general, or any special election that occur in a given year. You can also choose to have ballots for all future elections sent to you. I choose to have all of my ballots sent to me for mail-in ballots because years ago, my position had me traveling during the week, so it made it very difficult for me to be around to even do early voting if that were available. So I choose to mail in my vote, and I find it very convenient and very secure. Mail-in ballots are available in the county clerk's office and must be requested in writing by filling out a civilian mail-in ballot application. Your personal signature is required. The county clerk's office must receive the mail-in ballot application no later than seven days prior to the election date. Faxed copies of a mail-in ballot application are not acceptable due to the need for an original signature. Any mail-in voter who fails to apply in writing for a mail-in ballot within seven days prior to an election may apply in person or by an authorized messenger to the county clerk's office up to 3 p.m. the day before the election. So you'll still be able to register. And you can get the application in English, Spanish, Guattari, Hindi, and Punjabi. Here are some key dates to remember. Now, if you use your QR code on this screen, you're going to see pages of dates that are important. I picked out just some select ones for us here today. September 21st, mail-in ballots start. That means that's the first election day. September 21st is election day. October 15th, 
your voter registration deadline for the general election. So if you haven't registered to vote, you have to do it by October 15th. October 23rd is when your sample ballots will be mailed out to you. Early voting is October 26th through November 3rd. October 29th, the deadline to apply for a mail-in ballot. November 4th by 3, the deadline for in-person mail-in ballot applications for the general election this year. There are videos online from the Middlesex County Election Office and the State of New Jersey Elections that will help you with some of the questions you might have. Let me take you to some important information. Your mail-in ballot cannot be returned to your in-person early voting poll location or election day. So if you got your mail-in ballot, you can't take it from your house, fill it out, and carry it to the polling location. They can't take it. Your best way to do that is take it to the US Post Office or drop it in one of the ballot boxes. You cannot return it. Now, what if you don't recall if you have a mail-in ballot or not and you show up at the polling location and they say we, you've already gotten a mail-in ballot? You can vote provisionally. Don't expect to be voting on a machine if that's the case. So you can only vote once. That's one of the safeties. Now there's also the idea of vote harvesting. This is what we worry about when we worry about election fraud. When someone collects too many ballots and may be able to either tamper with or eliminate them. So bearers are limited to the number of ballots they can use or carry for someone else within their family and not to exceed five ballots for any election, only five. If you see someone carrying a box full of ballots that's not your mailman, then we have to look into that as election harvesting or ballot harvesting. If it's found out that there's any bearer that carried more, anything over five will be rejected. So we wanna make sure that there's no ballot harvesting. Now, for those of you that are going to be like me and use the mail-in ballot, you want to be able to track your ballot. First, you're going to have to log in to the system and create an account. Once you create an account, you'll be able to determine whether your ballot has been collected or not. So there's a link on the page from the QR code, and you'll sign in to create your voter record. So you'll go to the link at the bottom, sign up for my voter record. It's very simple. Your first name, your last name, county, date of birth, and one of the three following pieces of information. Your driver's license number, your social security, or your voter ID. I don't know about you, but I don't know my driver's license number. I don't know my voter ID, but I know the last four of my social. It's probably the easiest way to do it. You'll change the type that you're using. And I'm not gonna fill this in because you'll fill it in with your information. You don't need to know my information, especially not as we go down further in the form. And you'll pick out your username, enter your email address, enter your own password and your secret question. So you'll create your own secret question. Once you have this filled in, you'll be able to take your username and password sign in and you'll be able to see your voting history. So you wanna to check to make sure when you send in your ballot that it's received in a reasonable amount of time. And if you haven't sent it in yet and it shows that it is, you probably wanna call shenanigans on that and get the county clerk's office on it. But this is a great way to protect your vote when you're using the mail-in ballot system. A Couple of other pieces of information you may want to know. Um, for election day, in Saraville, on the Saraville.com site, you'll see all of our polling locations by district. You'll see that we have 15. These are only for election day, the one election day. The early voting location is only at the senior center. Okay, so you have your voter search and the county officials will be helpful if you need them to correct anything in your account. And then finally, election day is November 5th. I suggest we don't wait till election day. You have a lot of opportunities to do early voting, do mail-in voting. 
There's also absentee voting. But we want to make sure you vote. Vote early. Make sure your vote counts because one or two votes can be the difference between your candidate winning or losing. And there are some additional resources. I'll publish the PowerPoint for anyone who wants to use the QR codes or run through it again. I want to thank you for your time and attention, and please make your vote count.